How's it going? I know I am unacceptably been absent for like over a month now. <laughs> you know? It's just, um, it's what I do best. Okay, anyhow, <laughs> um, I'm not going to make this beginning long. Um, I'm just going to make this uh, brief, short, and sweet. Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, if you are a new subscriber, if you are not already subscribed, you know, um, join the family. The family um, with the button below, right there. Um, Anyhow, today, today <laughs> is, of all the things that I love, one of the many things that are so close and so dear to my heart is this woman of an angel named Demi Levato. I don't know why I said it like that. Demi Lovato, okay? She is um, my hero, my everything, my angel, my goddess, my everything yeah levotics they can relate so this one this one is more so for the levotics um and for those who want to stick around and get to know me and uh get to know demi better stay tuned because y'all y'all it's been a minute it is. It's been. It's been. It's been two years. It has been two years, you guys, since. It still blows my mind just to even say it. it's been two years. Okay, since um, uh, the public has had anything new with. Demi Lovato. For those of you who are just like, well, I have no idea what's been going on with Demi Lovato and I could care less. Well, guess what? I am here to make you care more than less because I'm going to educate you on a little recap of what has been happened, what has done happen since before our comeback now, okay? I am the official Demi Lovato Watch lifeguard. <laughs> Give me a sash, baby. Okay? And so, some really big things have been happening for us Levatics since, since our break. So, and in that being said, I have been constantly, I've been constantly watching Demi. Every move, just like the rest of us. Levotics. Because, <sighs> needless to say, we've been through a lot, us Levotics, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's important to reframe, to reiterate where we've come from. Um, because I just personally believe as a true Levotic, that um, Demi just hasn't quite gotten like a solid speak out, like a solid motherfucking clear representation of what is going on. And from a Levotic outsider looking in, I know as much as a Levotic will possibly freaking know, which is a lot of the surface, you know, I'm not Demi Lovato's friend, I'm not Demi Lovato's family, okay, I know I don't know her personally, da 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 da, you haters and trolls, but I'm just saying, Lovatics know more than all the rest of y'all know, so we're just gonna sit down, and I'm gonna educate a little here, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna get educated on some Lovatic knowledge, okay, okay, <laughs> Uh, Demi, she, this starts and marks back all the way in March 2018. In March 2018, Demi Lovato was celebrating her six 
year of being sober. And there, unfortunately, was a lot of, uh, okay, I know you guys always think I'm on drugs. But you guys are probably going to think I'm even more on drugs than this one. I'm just saying. Because I'm just... This woman. She makes this... Whatever this is. That... You think is tame. Or don't think is tame. It's even ten times that. When Dim Lovato gets in the picture... So if I get, like, very passionate about this, you've just been warned. Okay? Just. Yeah, it starts all the way back in March. Um, there was a lot of speculation that Demi just wasn't, um, wasn't as sober as she was claiming to be, or I guess sober at all. <sighs> and I know it's it's something that nobody else understands. Um, it's so hard when you feel like you're so personally close and so attached um, to somebody. It's it's really a lot, and it's really um, traumatic to. be a part of. Um, I've been a fan of Demi Lovato's since I was, since La La Land. Um, like Camp Rock, La La Land, and it just, she had me from there and it just kept going and the love kept growing and then it turned into this thing that we all never thought that it would be and I've never loved a celebrity the way I love Demi Lovato I mean so I've been there since the beginning even Barney when I didn't know I was a fan I was watching Barney and Demi was on it and you know what it explains a lot <laughs> So, uh, we, we've been here. We've been here. Uh, since the first time. You know, people call me crazy. People have always been calling me crazy for loving Demi Lovato as much as uh, I do. And it's just because I look at her as like a real family, like a real friend of mine. Because I just, I see her side, and I see the human in her, and I see that she's just like you and I, and she has feelings, and she's real, and she's not this celebrity, and I mean, seriously, like, from, like, the free concerts <laughs> in Microsoft Mall parking lots to Elitch's concerts, to <laughs> Walmart meet and greets, to <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck, this is my bad. To mall meet and greets, to all the way to VIPs, all the way to <laughs> all the way to now. All the way through and we've had our great ups and we have had our low lows they have not been easy but as much as everyone's called me crazy as much as you know my family or anyone has ever laughed at me for ah, I don't need to cry to have my makeup as much as people have never understood, 
I, I will always stand by this woman because she understands me in a way that nobody will ever understand me. And, um, so her in my heart is like this. She's all the way around. <laughs> Tied tight. My heart is <laughs> bursting at the seams <laughs> for her, the love for her. <laughs> mm. And in March, I don't, I don't want to get like this. I'm so sorry. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, in March, um, there was rumors, you know, that she, um, that she wasn't being, um, true on her sobriety. Um, you know, everything had seemed fine back when she made this simply complicated. Um, oh, I got a fan for these tears. Hold on. Hold oh, please. Oh. Uh, I was not trying to ruin my makeup for this one, this woman, but you know, good thing I wear waterproof mascara because it is demi. <laughs> so, um, she had seemed in that documentary like um, everything was fine, like she was in a really good place, so there was no red flags or concerns except for people, you know, insiders of her group. And she was like, um, hang out with people, um, that are not the most, um, credible sober people. Uh, needless to say, when those details came out, it was a whole thing about her sobriety being at stake. And then shortly following after, you know, and it was a bunch of rumors that had started emerging that she wasn't sober. And it wasn't until July that Demi had came out herself and, you know, decided to be honest with us, saying that she's in the song in itself, saying, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not sober anymore. And then shortly following after that, she had actually severed ties with Mike Bayer. Okay, Mike Bayer. If any Lovatic knows who that is, Mike Bayer worked with Demi Lovato at Cast Centers, and Cast Centers is a rehabilitation center that her and Mike actually were partners in and helped people. You know, Demi Lovato at one point actually was paying for people to go to this rehabilitation center. Demi Lovato um, started uh, working with Mike Bayer, I believe back, if not correct me if I'm wrong, back in 2014 when the um, Demi tour happened. And she brought him along um, kind of as a life coach and she brought him along as a partner in sponsorship with that and she brought him along you know for her tour and they did they did therapy sessions and how it's helping her just as much as her fans it's not about surviving either it's about thriving lovato was taking the cast foundation on the road with her for her tell me you love me tour it's an extension of the LA-based mental health and awareness organization, Cast Centers, where Lovato herself received treatment. The singer has been very open and very candid about her struggles with an eating disorder, self-harm, and addiction, as well as living with bipolar disorder. In fact, the 25-year-old just marked six years sober last week. So why is she bringing Cast on tour? To bring a deeper layer to the concert experience for her fans and at the same time help to erase the stigma around asking for help they they did they did so much together they worked so much together she even said tweeted that once this man like saved her life and sometimes things and people change and and they cut ties they cut ties because of the same reason that she cut ties with Phil McIntyre for. She cut ties with them because it was for money and branding, okay? You know, and then on July 6th, she tweeted to him, good luck on the vlog. <sighs> Completely cut ties.
and she cut ties with him. She cut ties from the casting center. And so that, it was just red flag, red flag, red flag. And then within the same month, Demi fires Phil McIntyre. And she's been with him since the beginning of at least, I'd say the beginning of her recovery. Because she entered a clause, no. Yes, yeah, she entered a clause with him that she would be sober within her contract. With that being said, she, with Phil, was never represented the right and proper way. She was never promoted the right and proper way. If this was TikTok, this would be a thing. Phil didn't do this. And he didn't do this. With... The Demi album, that was so under-promoted. That, that was the, the most highest ranking in numbers in all of her albums in the longest time. And it was not represented. It was not promoted the right way. They pushed it at the wrong times. They pushed the wrong songs. He did not see the vision that Demi wanted to go. And so ultimately she was over it because honestly when you work that hard to keep <laughs> when you like have this much here's Demi Lovato she has this much force right right here's her career with Phil you see the problem it's you need to get past that wall to get the credit where it's due, which she was not getting any of. So she, as I would, cut ties. She not only that, she... After she, you know, cut off ties with him, she cut off ties with her closest friends. Some of the very, very descriptive signs of a possible relapse and she was showing every one and then while singing sober for her past Robles show that was the last that we had heard anything from her While singing sober before her Paso Robles show, she forgot the words to her song, Sober. And it stopped. Uh, coincidentally. Where. The next line to the song says, I'm sorry that I'm here again. I promise I'll get help. Now I'm not going to play that. I'm not. We're not doing that. But if any Levotic has ever been to a concert, or if any fan has ever witnessed Demi sing and perform over and over again, you know that when Demi messes up, Demi fixes her mess up. She might have messed up, but she fixes her mess up. She catches herself and she fixes it. She continues after she fixes it. This time, she didn't fix it. She just left it as is. That was when I really felt concerned. I mean, the song in itself, but I mean. She didn't finish it. And then days before, several days before, This is 
why I get so like flustered about this because um oh, this video is already getting too long I always get too long about the things that I love but that performance spoke so many volumes so many on so many levels hmm. and as this tell me you love me to her goes on she and then so she cuts ties with all these people and she is trying to find her own stable place trying to find her own also in the midst of this tell me you love me tour with all of this going on with all of her background dancers and her assistants with all this going on I don't I think when I think about the situation, I think the human aspect of it. Okay, I think about what was she going through. I think Demi for a very long time was searching for herself. I feel like after you go through something that traumatic, which she did her first uh, time around. I think after that and trying to find yourself in a world of Hollywood, it's very, very hard to find and understand and hear yourself and hear what you need and really ground yourself. And I think in this Hollywood environment, it is so hard. I mean, it is so hard in recovery in itself to recover, okay? And then to have Hollywood in it, man. And then take away the addiction, okay? Just, just, just trying to find yourself in itself with that, with all of that going on. Me, myself, I can barely handle <laughs> I can barely handle when I know there's anyone listening to me. I'm like, I'm so used to not getting any attention. And when I get the slightest bit of attention, I'm just like, Whoop! don't look at me. <laughs> so, so I'm just saying when in an environment like that going through Wilmer and going through things with her dad and just unresolved trauma issues you know it's just all the things um, you know they pile up over an extended amount of time and I think you know there's times in life where you just think you're okay you think you're okay you think you're okay you think you're okay you think you're okay and then all of a sudden boom everything blows up in your face and you're not okay and I think that's what happened to Demi and I think that she gives so much of herself to others that it's really hard for her to have anything left in her glass and it just it gets me every time it gets me every time because I know the feeling all too well I am way too um fond of it if you will and I think you know when it's like that and you have issues it just you know it it happens and I think that's what happened and I think she might have briefly you know lost herself there for a minute and when you get that lost it's easy to really wander and when you wander you can get more lost <laughs> and, and then the incident happened <laughs> I can't cry I get so emotional over talking about this <sighs> but despite all of that we are still here we are still here and I'm so happy I am, I can never explain to you how happy I am. No, we are still here. We're still here with her, staying 
strong. Still here. Um, and now, and now, and now, and now you guys, and now, look at where we are now. Look at where we are now. I just want to. Because truly, I'm just, I'm so happy. And now, you know, she got rid, Demi, you know, she's a human, she makes mistakes. But when she gets focus and she focuses herself, <sighs> the power this woman has is <laughs> dude Demi literally goes like this and the whole world goes into a fucking frenzy a fucking frenzy of chaos and she's here and we're here and we have ladies and gentlemen an angel we have a literal angel on this earth that we are blessed with. We're blessed to have an angel walking this earth. Since then, <laughs> since then, since coming back, praise Jesus, Lord, have mercy. She, hallelujah, can I get a hallelujah? Mm, mm, mm. came back stronger than ever Scooter Braun she signed with Scooter Braun she signed with Scooter Braun and Scooter Braun is going to the way he pays close attention to detail in his artist. Ah! Oh my god. And now we're back without the old, in with the new, Scooter Braun. Okay, we have Scooter Braun by her side. She's booked. Will and Grace has done a few episodes, has came back better than ever with her Will and Grace performance. She has not performed in years on the television screen and that's because she did not like to see. She she never, almost didn't even think that she could ever come back to the freaking television screen. Bad, I just, because she hated seeing her body so much. She didn't think that she was ever going to get back on screen, that she thought she was only going to do music. And she came back, and that was the first thing that she did. And she comes back, and I am so proud of her. I am so proud. Ah, I have a mega horn. Tell me, I am so proud. <laughs> and she looks so beautiful, and she looks so healthy. And she not only did that, but she did a Grammy performance. I'm shaking. My voice quivers at the sound of saying it. She performed at the Grammys. She performed <laughs> at the Grammys. And she was so courageous and so powerful after all that she's been through and after everything that everyone says to her. She, like when Demi Lovato came, it just, it, it, it floored me. It just, it, oh. she did the Grammys. She did that beautiful Grammy performance. I just, you know.
We got that and then after that he was like wham bam thank you ma'am will and grace grammy super bowl bam levotic overload here you go it was like scooter levotics <laughs> and i just i i'm so happy because she seems so genuinely happy like these photos this woman it's glowing. You get a glimpse of heaven and you're just like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's, it's, oh God, the angelicness that this woman holds. And she looks so happy for the Super Bowl. And I was so excited for the Super Bowl. I even, I even, I only watch the Super Bowl for Demi Lovato. Okay, only for Demi Lovato. And for J-Lo and Shakira, and literally this is the only Super Bowl I will ever be a part of and care for and or be as excited. This bowl was all mine this year. <laughs> and I, um, I, I even made sure that I went to the store to promote. Now we have to get our groceries, but we have to make sure that everybody sees them. They have to see her. There she is. Hi there, how are ya? This audio clip is brought to you by my megaphone that I bought from Amazon because um, my baby tuber self forgot to put the audio on. <laughs> As you see here, this is the first King Super customer I harassed who was interested about Demi Lovato. I said, are you watching the Super Bowl today? Well, Demi Lovato is going to be singing the national anthem and you should watch. Don't forget about it. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, I was quite surprised I was pulling this off. And next we have our second takers. Um, actually, uh, I'm glad a lot of young people knew who this was and what I was doing. And surprisingly, older people did too. So this was actually a really fun experience for me. I was getting into it. I was kind of dancing. I was kind of shimmying. I was feeling it. It was a vibe. It's a celebration. Guys, what are you guys going to be up to today? Oh, watching the Super Bowl? Oh, so I saluted them because they are on my Lovato team. They were there for support. They already knew. Successful recruiting. Next up, Death Star Girl. That was a hard no, but I couldn't more want to make her a fan and chase her down and just share a song. Oh, this honey right here, she was my favorite of all. She knew exactly who she was, and she went straight up to her mama and told her who was singing the national anthem today at the Super Bowl. Hey, Demi, I'm just saying, if you ever need a little newspaper girl to promote posters of your concerts and your albums, and like, et cetera, et cetera, honey, I will do it across the globe national. I volunteer as tribute. Oh, hello there. Would you like for me to recruit you as a Lovatic and never turn back? Well, you're in luck today because I am a golden star. Ding. Yo, we all knew this was a joke, but everyone was actually really nice. Mm, look at me blowing in the wind like a golden retriever. Well, god damn. <gasps> Ladies and tension shoppers, if you are not already aware, Demi Lovato will be singing the national anthem at three whatever time it was Pacific time. Don't forget to watch it and check it out. It is important. It is the most important days of our lives. It's what I wanted to say, but I didn't. Thank you. That is all. Said woman's performance. I literally went to the grocery store just to promote this woman's performance. People looked at me like I was crazy, but it was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it, Karen! And, oh my god, it's just... Like, what's next? I just, I'm, I'm so excited. I can't even... It's, it's, I'm, I'm literally on overload, the most that I've been in years with Demi. So, Scooter is really, really, really just 
oh my god i just i feel so blessed and i feel like she's so in a place that she's supposed to be and i'm actually comfortable with where she is because honestly all those years with phil mcintyre i'm not gonna lie i didn't feel comfortable with her being with him and i don't know i just got this weird v vibe i don't know i don't know i've always been so just scared and worried about her and now like i feel like i have like this just sense of like relief and that she knows who she is and she's starting to see her worth and it's just the greatest gift ever better than her music better than her acting better than her talent just having her be happy for being her is just <sighs> bothers so many people of all the things that she does okay <sighs> like this tiktok for example uh oh uh oh 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 yeah yeah no schnitzel sherlock oh it sounds <laughs> oh <laughs> what Oh. Hey Karen, have you ever heard of inspiration? Huh? Oh, no, you haven't? Hmm? Okay, that is all. Thanks, Karen. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. God forbid Demi Lovato is inspired by the woman that inspired her to write music growing up. God forbid! God forbid! I mean, I mean, God forbid, like y'all better freaking stop, I'm a, I to swear, I'm a hold myself, let me hold myself, let me hold myself, no, let me hold myself, hold myself the frick back, cause I'm about to, back, back. I'm about to, you so ungrateful, you ingrates. Be grateful for what you get and what you got. Have your mothers ever taught you? You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Or, you ever watch Bambi? If you don't have nothing nice to say, well then... Don't say anything at all. <laughs> God, you guys just... I just don't understand. People can be so dissatisfied with a woman that gives so much. <laughs> out of my head, out of my mind. Okay. And on that note, you guys, we're gonna head out because I can literally talk about Demi for hours and hours and hours and hours. And y'all don't want to hear that. Unless you're a Levonic, or unless you do, and you want to come below and tell me you want to hear more. But, you know, unless then, probably not. But, <laughs> anyhow, now, brown cow, it is only, only one in the morning, and I'm tired. And it's been a long filming. It's been an hour. And I'm happy that I could check in with you guys, and I'm happy that we're here with Demi, with you, and with me. So, be sure to click that little ring-a-ding-ding -ding notification bell. And there's gonna be more videos. Promises, promises. Just, you know, me and my um, shrink have been talking more than you and I have been talking. So, <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you. I love you. Be yourself. Love is louder than the pressure to be perfect. And, you know, <laughs> after such a serious note, you know, here's, here's this for you. Here you go. Have a good day. Bye. Accept yourself. Love yourself. Accept yourself.